close to home? These are the kids of my kids. Um, we had some things happen when I was principal, but um, we've never had kids taken away from us. And we had kids taken away. And uh, the mom, their moms and dads were my kids uh, in Chardon, at Chardon High School. And can you talk about you know this first transition you know for these kids? They're not going to be accompanied by their parents. What do you think? Well, it's important that they got to get started. Uh, if you look at the grieving process, they've got to get this started. The first day is going to be the hardest, so let's get let's get through the first day. Uh, different kids are going to be at different levels. Uh, there's probably still some in denial. There's some that are going to be angry, um, but they have to get back, and they have to get back now. Do you think that some are ready? Do you think they need each other for support? Oh, they, they all have to be. It's, it's a family. Um, and any, with any tragedy, families stick together. And that's probably uh, what people who don't know this community have seen over the past week. Um, but we have to, we're supporting each other now. And, you know, of course, there's such media attention. Not just the media, but the whole world is watching well, them heal. I get a sense, uh, unlike many other tragedies, I get a sense that people out there say, you know, that could be us. That's Chardon. That's that's uh, America, um, and I think a lot of people are, are grieving with us. I think a lot of people are identifying with us, as particularly in this county, if not the nation and the world. Is they're kind of saying, "Gosh, we're Chardon too." And are you involved in sort of the healing process? Well, I um, I also I run Leadership Geauga County, and I have a uh, youth program in a, with uh, juniors in high school from the whole county, and I've got I got. Eight of my kids up going to be in school today up there, and I was with some of them yesterday, and it's it's tough for all of us. I mean, it, it, it's not just about the kids. I mean, the teachers there, they were victims. The parents are uh, This community has been a victim. This, this community um, is hurting, too. And the steps taken on, uh, you know, have the teachers come back one day, the, the kids and their parents the next day, and then starting up on a Friday, and then you have the weekend to think it over. Is that a good step? There's, there's no formula. No, you know, we don't, we've never experienced this before. Uh, very, thank God, very few places do. Um, the key is we got to get back. The teachers had to come back alone because, again, they, like I say, they've been, they were victimized. Um, the, the families came back together yesterday. Um, now the kids. We, we've got to get back to living, and that, that has to start today. Okay, thank you so much.